This clip will cover the multi-projection utility within WellSeeker Pro. So we're currently on a job. We have our plan in place for the well. We've currently drilled and we're in the build section prior to the lateral, as we can see from this plot here. Red line being our surveys, blue line being the plan. OK, so we've got our surveys in place down to 7,400 feet. We've input some slides and we want to see, uh, estimate where we are in relation to the plan after our slides. So we go to Tools and Multi-Project. So first of all, I'm going to reset this grid and update Tile to make sure it's populated with the most recent survey that I've got in place. So what we did on the rig floor over a hundred foot interval, we slid for 70% of that. So over a hundred foot, we slid 70% and we estimate our motor yield to be 15 and our tool face was high side. So from that the software derives that we got a 10.5 degree dog leg on a high side tool face and therefore estimates the position of the well bore uh, from our projector head. It automatically populates a new line. So this is our projection over the next stand that we haven't seen a survey for yet. If I append that to survey, what we see is now it's been added to the survey record as a green line. And any plots that we have open as well, this will be uh, plotted on and you can uh, verify it against the plan to see where your projection is estimated. If at any point you want to remove that projection from the survey, hit remove from survey and that will remove itself from the survey record. These methods that you have for projecting ahead, if you close the window, open up the window, that will be saved in place. So every time I use this, if the methodology for sliding has been different, I reset and update time. The next portion of this window is landing data. So what this gives you is an idea of what you need to achieve dog leg wise and tool face wise to meet your current landing point criteria. So I update my bit position with the latest survey and I select the critical point that we want to land off at. So we get a breakdown of every directional change point within the plan. In this case, it's our land off point at 90 degrees that we're interested in. And what this tells us is to achieve the plan coordinates, inclination, azimuth, uh, and TVD. What this tells us is to achieve our plan measured depth, TVD, north, south, east, west coordinates with the same dog leg, that our inclination and azimuth will be different to those within the plan. But it says that we'll be bang on the plan point. What we can also look at is if we're in a geosteering example and the geologist tells us that we want to be 20 foot deeper, we can adjust the TVD. In this case, 20 feet deeper would be 119. And you can see then the effect that has on the inclination, the azimuth and the local coordinates and the dog leg severity and tool face required to reach there. If, however, we're not interested in the measured depth, we want to keep the inclination, azimuth, and TBD as the main factors, we can alter these by selecting that checkbox. And this will allow us to maintain the same inclination, azimuth, and TV, and uh, with the TBD adjustment that we had originally. This just updates the MD, tool face, dog leg severity. As previously, we can append this to the survey. It appears in green and we can then view this point on our plots.